in today's video, I am so excited to share with all of you a cozy fall cleaning routine. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica, and here on my channel, we focus on all things mom life, whether that's cooking, cleaning, or finding effective and efficient ways to take care of our family. But everything we do here in my space does have a bit of a healthy twist as I'm a holistic nutritionist and a nutritional practitioner. So for today's video, I am so excited to take you around the house. We're gonna do some deep cleaning, some surface cleaning, and getting things really nice and tidy. We've started to decorate our home for fall however we're adding a few more fall touches in this video and i think that you'll find it inspiring and cozy and if you like this video you can let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and let's jump right in to cleaning I'm sure like many of you, whenever there's a new season, I'm always inspired to refresh our home, give everything a nice deep clean and get things ready for the new season, especially during the fall. Back to school season always feels like a fresh start to me. It's almost like the new year. I think it's the forever student in my mind always looks at it as a fresh start and I love that feeling. So I like to take the time when the kids are at school to really get things extra clean. I'm not sure if you saw the meme that was going around during quarantine, but cleaning with my kids in the house kind of feels like brushing my teeth while eating Oreos. And that has definitely stuck with me. And now that the kids are in back to school and we're in back to school season, I've really been ramping up my cleaning again. When it was quarantine, I was just trying to keep my head above water, keep things tidy, and I wasn't doing a ton of deep cleaning, but I've definitely been doing more and more of that lately. So I'm getting started today by vacuuming my entire upstairs in the kids' bedrooms and getting things really tidied up. And then I'm gonna go through and dust the entire upstairs and wipe down all of the mirrors and windows. You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite and least favorite cleaning task? My favorite is by far vacuuming. The vacuum lines are so satisfying to me, even though they last two seconds until people walk on them, but it really just does give the entire home a refresh, especially with our style of carpet. When we built this house, we upgraded our carpet, but even so, I couldn't have known like the lower ply versus the ply we got. Anytime somebody walks on it, sits on it, or does anything, it gets rid of the vacuum lines, which actually drives me crazy. So I love to vacuum because I feel like it just makes everything look so crisp and clean. Now I'm going through with my small handheld vacuum and I'm using this attachment, which is a brush, and it suctions up and gets all of the dust off of your stairs and your baseboards. So I just create like a suction on the baseboards with this tool and you will be shocked at the dust that it takes up i likewise do it on the crown molding and i only do this once every couple of months but it makes such a huge difference in our house again i create almost like a suction between the baseboards and the actual brush and it takes everything off My large Dyson also has an amazing attachment that does an incredible job. 
at getting all the dust off of our baseboards, but by the end of doing the entire house, my arms are so sore. So I do tend to use the smaller one more frequently than I do the big one. But if you've got a lot of dust on your baseboards, you could definitely go for the larger Dyson because it will do it faster and it will definitely get every single bit of dust up for you. So now I'm just taking a quick break to check in on the kids at school. Even when they're away, I find myself checking the app to make sure everything is going well. Then I'm also taking a look at my to-do list to make sure that I have everything in line and that I'm able to get done all of the things I can't do while Sawyer is napping. For example, dusting her and Ronan's bedroom. I like to do all of the loud things like vacuuming and then the things that do require me being in her room while she's away at school. That way I can finish up the other things when I go and pick her up because she's only at school in the morning time and I'll finish up the rest of the cleaning while she's napping and then a few things later on in the day at night after I get the kids to bed. I have an entire video dedicated to this towel right here, the Nano Towel, and if you haven't had a chance to check it out, I will link it for you here on the screen, up in the cards, and be sure to watch that after today's video. I show you how you can legitimately clean your entire house with just this towel and no product. I'm using a dry one now to go through and dust the house, and then I will get a fresh clean one and I will dampen it with just a little bit of water, and I will go through and wipe down all of the glass windows and mirrors in the house it does an amazing job and it leaves absolutely no streaks i will say it takes a little bit more sweat equity to get everything wiped off however the fact that i don't have to stop and spray and use chemicals and cleaning products is something i like to do when i'm doing a quick clean when i'm doing a deep clean and i want to really scrub things i will use a little bit of cleaning product on the towel as well however if i want to just wipe down the windows the mirrors the countertops and the sinks it's such a great tool to have so be sure to check out that video if you haven't had a chance to and then if you watch any of my cleaning videos you know you will see me using this amazing towel After I've gone ahead and wiped down all of the glass and the mirrors, I'm moving on to the pictures and picture frames, just the few things that still need dusting, and then I go on to doors with the same towel, you guys. Using just this little bit of water, it will take off all of the handprints and fingerprints, and if you have small children and toddlers, you know that those are everywhere but it takes them off immediately from your doors. And then you're not worried about any chemicals and cleaning products that may take off the paint on your doors, which I know can be a concern. Again, another reason to just love this towel. It really is so effortless to take off all of the little fingerprints and then likewise the dust from all of the doors around your house. Now I'm back home from picking up Sawyer from school and I'm folding my one load of laundry a day. So if you're familiar with any of my cleaning videos, then you know I like to do one load of laundry a day. I find that this really helps me stay on top of this never ending task. So what I do is I start the laundry in the morning after I get the kids changed out of their pajamas. I then head on upstairs. I collect everybody's laundry from their bins and their baskets and I start that one load of laundry. Now, if it's a day that I'm doing our towels and our sheets, there does tend to be two loads of laundry that day, but most days it is just one. 
And I find that just doing this one load a day really helps me stay on top of that task. You can see Kaya walked in the house or came upstairs and I told him to, to be quiet because Sawyer had been struggling to go down for her nap. So I try my best to hurry up and get this one load folded as quickly as I can. And then I put away everybody's clothes except for hers until she wakes up. But doing laundry can really feel like one of those things that as mothers, we tend to find ourselves drowning in. And you need to let me know in the comment section down below, what is the one thing that you have a really hard time staying on top of? Is it dishes? Is it laundry? Is it dusting? Is it vacuuming? For me, the one thing that can creep up quickly is laundry. And I can tell if I'm off of my routine and I'm not on top of this task because suddenly I'll notice all of our hampers are full and then we don't have a ton of clean clothes and it really bothers me if I'm not on top of it. So I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What is the one task that really creeps up on you if you don't stay on top of it? Before heading upstairs to put the clothes away, I'm gonna start the diffuser and diffuse some of my absolute favorite fall essential oils from Plant Therapy. I will link these for you guys in the description box down below. You can grab them on Amazon. They'll be at your front door in two days and they are absolutely amazing. So I like to get that going to help me feel motivated to finish up this ultimate fall clean with me. Then we'll head on upstairs and we'll get all the laundry put away before Sawyer wakes up. And I hope you're finding some cleaning motivation in this video. And if you are, I would love it if you would consider hitting the subscribe button. I make weekly videos here every Thursday, all types of homemaking and mommy motivation, whether it's cooking or cleaning, because I am a holistic nutritionist. I'm always looking for ways to increase our nutrition, to keep our home clean, and to find effective and fun ways to take care of my family. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, I would love it if you'd consider subscribing and joining our family. It's now later in the day and I've gotten the kids to bed and the kitchen cleaned up and I'm gonna go through and dust the entire downstairs. You can see I'm gently setting everything down on the table. That's because I'm right below Sawyer's bedroom and I can hear her trying to go to sleep. So I'm gonna take everything off of this tray, all of our fall decor, which I did just dust this tray about a week ago and it's crazy how quickly the dust can accumulate. So I'm gonna go through with that nano cloth again give everything a quick dry dust before moving on to the other rooms to have everything nice and clean and freshly dusted for the weekend ahead. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you already decorated your house for fall? Do you decorate your house for fall? Is that something you typically do? We definitely decorate for fall and even more so now that my son is five and a half. He gets so excited to decorate for every season. And I remember growing up as a kid, watching my mom decorate and it being such a big deal. So I feel so grateful to carry through that tradition in our home. Both Kai and I love decorating and creating just these happy memories for our children. So I wanna know from you guys if you decorate for fall or if you just decorate for the other big holidays. But we will leave this decor up because it's not exactly Halloween-ish yet. We will add some Halloween touches here in about a week or two, but we will leave this decor up particularly all the way until it comes close to Thanksgiving but I do swap out a lot of our decor before Thanksgiving to Christmas, just because Christmas is my favorite time of the year. And the longer I can have that up, the more joy it brings me.
remember earlier in the video when I asked you what your favorite cleaning task was and I said mine was vacuuming? Well, sharking my hardwood floors is a close second. I absolutely love my shark steam mop. I will have this linked for you in the description box down below. I get so many questions on it, but it works like a charm. With two small children, I always am finding smudges and handprints and sticky stains on our floors, and this is the most effortless way to get them to all come up. I want to thank you all so much for watching and if you like this video you can let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and then let me know in the comment section down below what inspires you to clean for me it's most definitely the change of season so if you're like me let me know in the comment section down below and now the subscribe button is right over here on the screen give that a click that way you don't miss a single video and i hope to see you back here next thursday